What's going on guys? I'm Kevin and this is a build update on my Shorty Cummins. So the last time you saw this truck, it was an MP5600 six-speed. Went ahead and swapped it out for a built 47RE, built by Daniel at Outlaw Diesel Performance. We did a billet input shaft, upgraded clutches, a triple disc DPC converter, and a high pressure custom valve body by Firepunk Diesel. And it's all controlled by an anteater. So the reason we went with a 47RE over the MP5600 is to improve upon my track times and improved my track time from about 15 second quarter mile with the manual to a 12.9 with the automatic and I've made more improvements that we'll go over to hopefully improve upon that 12.9 hoping to get into the 11s. To try to get the power to the ground we upgraded some of the suspension components. We put a fire pump shock relocation kit on it using some Rancho adjustable shocks. We'll see how those do. If they don't work out I'll probably go to some QA1s down the road. Uh, another thing is we put some Calvert Racing Caltrack bars on it to redistribute some of the weight, I removed the factory 35 gallon fuel tank out of this truck and went with a 25 gallon fuel cell, but instead of bolting it in the back of the bed like everybody else would, I actually made a, a structure to go in between the frame rails that holds the fuel cell down low so I can still have full utilization of my bed and it just transfers all that weight behind the rear axle. So hopefully, again, I get better traction for my for better 60 foot. So to add a little more power to the truck, the truck used to have a 62-65-14 turbo. Uh, spooled great down low, but up top it seemed like it was lacking. I found a great deal on a 67-67-9 Super 9 HX, and man, that thing rips. It, it spools similar to the 62, and up top it feels like it has a ton more. So it does have the anteater to shift the trans electrically in drive. To shift it into drive and park and all that, I put a B&M shifter in and I made a custom mount to come out of the factory six-speed cup holder center console so it almost looks factory. So before the truck had some uh, factory sport half-ton wheels, uh, I didn't like how that was set up because I had to run wheel spacers with the spindle front end. So I decided to go with some 20 by 10 ultra bronze and black wheels to replace those so I don't have to mess with wheel spacers and it looks better for fuel I have 7x12 injectors I have an edge comp box to control the injection pump and to feed all that I upgraded to a AirDog DF225G with boost compensation so I went with the 225G because it has the diaphragm fuel pressure regulator VPs consume a lot of fuel because they have the overflow valves that's constantly returning a lot of fuel. So to overcome that, I put a larger pump on there and with the boost compensation, any, any sort of pressure drop at all, I can bring some boost air back into that regulator to bring it back to where it's happy. For more specifics and more information that was covered in a previous video, check out the description below. Feel free to comment if you have any questions about this build, I will be happy to answer them. Let's put it at the end of the video. What's doing? VP things.
throttle champ.